Hey besties, it's Newt back again with another Animal Crossing Happy Home Paradise speed build. Uh, today we are working on Fret's house. He wanted a sports fans dugout, but he also asked me for a bunch of soccer items. And I don't know much about sports besties, that's not really like my thing, but I'm pretty sure that the dugout is baseball, uh, not soccer, a uh, slash football, but you know, could be wrong. Let me know in the comments if you if you're a sports fan <laughs> and you have that that information. I'd love to know. Um, but yes, yeah, so I wanted to do a gorgeous and stunning house for Fret and his gorgeous and stunning eyebrows, which I admire very deeply. They remind me of my own eyebrows, actually. Uh, uh, so I feel really seen by him. I also feel really seen by this build, besties. Uh, after last week when I finished my lake, a link in bio, haha, <laughs> god, uh, after I finished my lake, I was feeling a little bit stuck on my own island, feeling a little, little bit uninspired. I'm in between two really big builds on my island, literally, like, the lake build itself is situated in between two areas on my island that I have really big build ideas for, uh, so... Instead of working on those, I was like, you know what? I'm I'm feeling a little uninspired. Let's do some Happy Home Paradise. And I wanted to do something fun for springtime, something really, something really naturey. And uh, I, you know, Fred, he just spoke to me. He's such a cutie. Love, love, love this yellow little dude. And I had really fun with the color palette of this build. The main color palette is blue, yellow, and green. And I really love those colors. Uh, and I hope Fret lights them too because it is the color scheme of his house. I had a lot of fun using these fence items in this really uh, bright blue color. I love the pop of blue. Uh, and I gave him a yellow house exterior and I used a lot of green with like the, the, the trees and like the weeds and everything and also little pieces of furniture here and there. Uh, and the inside has some more green, but it's also mostly blue and yellow. Uh, but you know, I just having I was having fun with some of my favorite colors, having fun with a really fun, sporty concept. This honestly very inspiring for Genji's house, which we will work on in the future. This is not Genji's color scheme, but the vibes of it, you know, besties, like a like a a sports fans dugout. <laughs> uh, that yeah, that I'm excited for that, and it just it it just made me nostalgic for you know a nice hot summertime vibe i also got to use some codes that i haven't used in a minute i have a couple of like sports areas on my island like i have a volleyball court and i have a playground with like a soccer field and obviously here we did a soccer field because like we said fret wants a sports fans dugout what that has to do with soccer once again don't ask me but that's what he asked for uh so uh, we used the the chalk lines to make it look like an actual field. And I think it looks really good, besties. I, I like how the weeds break up the chalk lines and are all over the dirt path. I love using the light dirt path. It's definitely the best in-game path, as we all know. And I loved using all of the greenery and mixing the blue and the yellow with like the more natural green colors. I tried to get the park fence to work, but uh, in the end, I uh, just didn't, but that's okay because you know, she'll, she'll get her time to shine on another day. I don't know where or when, but she will. I really do like the park fence. Maybe another Happy Home Paradise build, I don't know, we'll see. There's actually a couple of old live streams that I kind of want to turn into speed builds just because they're builds that I like really like and I feel like I'd have a lot to say about what I did with them. Um, but one of them was actually really recent, so I'm gonna I'm wait a minute before I turn that one into a speed build. Uh, but that was a very fun build to do. And I will say, definitely, this build really excels on the outside. The inside, uh, I struggled with a little bit more. Just because the outside, you know, it's such a strong concept. Like, I got to use these things, these, like, s these ads, the wooden field sign. I never use this, but it's so perfect. Like, I love this. It's so cute. I knew I had to use that item. Same with, like, the, the, the plastic bench. Definitely had to use that in that, in that wonderful blue color. Absolutely adore but yeah, this is the basic shape of the outside coming together. I think I moved everything back a couple of spaces so I could make the soccer field bigger and have the lines be less awkward. But for the most part, this is it. The, this is this is it. I took some cues from my volleyball court, obviously, and from my own soccer field and just added items that I wish I had space to add in my own builds. Uh, and I just had I just had fun with it. I'm, I'm so happy I did this build. I have a couple of builds in mind for my own island that I'm excited about that are shorter than the other builds that I am considering. Not considering, I'm, I'm going to do them, but like the, that I have on my plate 
as of right now. And I kind of wanted to do them this week, but then this week sort of snowballed because I am going to a concert later in the week, and I just had a lot of things I had to do to prepare in my own life for that. But, but they're coming, besties, they're coming. I have to get back on my grind before the week ends. Uh, and because of that, I'll probably be streaming later in the week. For those of you who don't know, I stream here once a week on YouTube. Normally we play Animal Crossing or Pokemon or The Sims, but we might play other things. Uh, actually, last weekend I had a really exciting stream where uh, we raised money for me to get new equipment for the channel, which was very exciting, and I'm very grateful for your generosity. And I had a lot of fun on that stream. And honestly, uh, I'm really grateful as another way of, of of thanking you guys for that lovely, lovely stream. I want to ask you what you want me to stream this week on YouTube. It will likely be on Saturday uh, because of, once again, because of the time commitments I have throughout the week. But do, what game do you want me to play? Uh, uh, we can play any of the games that we've played before. I also have a Wii that I could hook up. We could play We could play GameCube Animal Crossing. We could play City Folk. We could play My Sims. We could play uh, Harvest Moon for the GameCube. If any Harvest Moon fans, we could play Pikmin. Like We could play all sorts of things, besties. So let me know in the comments. Anyone's got ideas. Recently, I was on... <laughs> I was actually in a Discord call with some of my mods on my lovely Discord server. Link in the description, besties. You can join. Uh, I was in a, a call with them playing Webkins. <laughs> we were playing Webkins. Uh, so maybe, I don't know, play some smoothie moves. Actually, that might be a thing that I stream on Discord for you guys. Once again, come hang out on Discord. It'll be fun. Let's talk about the build for a second. I'm getting a little distracted. Um, sorry about that, besties. I have a lot going on, obviously, right now. Uh, <laughs> I'm such a busy, I'm such a busy woman, as you all know. But, you know, I look at this gorgeous and stunning stock soccer field, this this dugout, if you will. It's not. I, I'm i 99% sure that's just a baseball thing. But, you know, I could be wrong. But, yeah, this is my gorgeous and stunning uh, sports fans dugout, uh, my gorgeous and stunning soccer field. Uh, we have lots of weeds growing up out of the ground, very meticulously placed weeds. I love a meticulously placed weed, besties. You know me. Uh, and I, we also have this, this chair, which, which does move. Um... And we have, we'll add some like sports drinks. We have the little, I think that we keep it with one advertisement sign and then have the, um, what's the word? The scoreboard next to it. I tried to get this bike to fit, but it just didn't fit. So we ended up putting a bike inside on the wall, which I think worked much better. And we have the two benches for the two different teams. I also threw a radio out here, obviously. You gotta have the ambiance, the mood. I also ended up picking uh, this time of day where there's like a double rainbow above his house, which I think is really cute. I just love these colors. I love the, the vibrantness of it. And I love, oh no, did I do two? I did do two. I did two and I put the scoreboard over there because I put the brown chair there as a, presumably that's the, the guy keeping score. That's the referee. Is that what he's called? Sports fans, let me know. I'd love to, I love to learn new things about sports. Um, <laughs> wow, what, a, once again, what a voiceover, classic me voiceover. How uh, is your day going, bestie? How, how's your day going? I had the most wonderful trip to Goodwill today uh, with my roommate in preparation for the concert that we're going to this weekend. I found a lovely uh, men's polo shirt, as I often am want to do at Goodwill, uh, and it was, it was a great time. Love, love a little thrift. Have any of you had any really good thrift hauls lately, besties? Let me know. I want to know. See, okay, here's, let's make a list. Let's make a running list of things that I want to know. I love putting the sports drink. And I put the, I put the, um, I put the radio, obviously. I'm very biased towards the, the tape deck. I put the, the radio. And then I put the sports drink from, uh, Red's Raffle the blue sports drink. I put two of them outside and I put one inside and I put the magazine from Red's Raffle uh, as well. The turned to, recolored to the sports color. And I also put this adorable custom design down because I thought it was cute and it matched the floor and the color scheme of the build. So there's your reminder besties to use the Harz Island items. I'll always remind you of this. It's very important. We also kind of wanted to fit the Rossetti model and put like this little hole code, but it just wasn't fitting. I do kind of wish that it had though, because it is very, very cute. But we have the soccer ball instead, and Fret is gonna play with it a little bit in the outro sequence, so get excited. Uh, but yeah, let me know how your day is going. I always love to know that. 
let me know uh what you want me to stream on saturday what game you want me to stream and let me know if you've been in the thrift store recently and if you had a good haul or not uh i'm very curious if did you find anything any 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 really sick finds i'd love to hear about them you know maybe fret thrifted this plaid shirt you know think about that consider that i think we're almost done with the outside this is all of the classic newt tropes of a build okay we have the sock on the ground we have the weeds everywhere we have the blue yellow and green color scheme we have the use of the harv's island uh red's raffle items and the sneakers and the water bottle uh all of the the the, the utility pole the best item uh you know all of the classic uh newt signature trademark items we even have the um the leaf pile the green leaf pile look at that besties look at that this is a classic me build I, through and through honestly and i'm glad that i did it I, i'm really pleased with it especially the outside the outside is just so precious the inside i think is actually very interesting uh and i did a couple of tricks that i haven't done before but you know it was definitely definitely not as like instantaneous as the outside the outside was like oh i see this in my brain oh look at the rainbow isn't that cute Okay, here we are on the inside, besties. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, I cut out some stuff from the beginning. Uh, I had this room shape and it just wasn't working and uh, I was I didn't know what to do with it, but I had an idea in my mind. I just wanted him to have like a cute little like one room house or like one room apartment, like very much like a sports coach lives here, you know, like, like, you know, like the, like he's a gym teacher or something. Like I wanted that to be his vibe, but a little cutesy because he's like a cute little dog. Um, and it's very simple. It's not one of my more like fantastical or like intricate builds, but I do like it how it came out and I had a lot of fun using the items and, and make, making like different shapes than I normally do. Like I really love the kitchen layout that I ended up going with. I think it's really, I think it's really, um, not, not necessarily unique, like I came up with it, like, but like unique for me at least. Like I, I used the partition walls to sort of make like an L-shaped room as opposed to like a square room. And I put this little like office nook that he has where he does his, I don't know, he grades your gym homework or something. You know, your gym homework. Like when they make you fill out those worksheets about like, I ran uh, 30 feet today or something. I don't know, you know, he's, he's that type of guy. You know, he's trying his best. Uh, we used all of my classic kitchen items. I didn't, you know, like I said, not my most creative build, but I think it turned out cute nonetheless. I was, you know what I really struggled with, besties? I struggled with the wallpaper. The wallpaper options in this game drive me nuts because, like, my brain is, like, I have to match the, the, like, the, the wainscoting. It's not wainscoting. It's, like, the the trim with like everything else and it's just like i honestly kind of wish i had stuck to my guns with the super plain like white wallpaper and then just like made it super duper plain in here but i was like i wanted to be cutesy i wanted it to be cute so badly and you know it was it was a struggle it really was there were a couple items that i knew i wanted though i knew i wanted the sloppy couch um i knew i wanted the bike on the wall and i knew i wanted the messy the sloppy um sink and i knew i wanted the uh, vcr because I wanted the sports channel to play on the TV. He asked for like a big TV, but unfortunately for Fret, he is just a humble gym teacher and cannot afford a huge flat screen TV on the salary that they are paying him, which I do believe is unfortunate. I, you know, all teachers deserve a living wage, period, besties, uh, including Fret the dog, the gym teacher. <laughs> but uh, you'll see me struggle with this wallpaper the entire build so don't get used to any of it i honestly don't even remember 100 percent which one i ended up going with uh but it wasn't this i think it was this this polka dot actually honestly the polka dot accent wallet was kind of a serve what was i thinking when i switched it to all polka dot like what was going through my mind no this is all polka dot okay never mind i was right i was right i was right as always i'm an aquarius i was always right uh, <laughs> anyways uh, we're just, you know, getting the basic layout of the room down. These aren't all the objects that I stick with, but this is the basic layout we're going to have. We ended up putting the TV on the floor, keep it really casual in here. Like, this is very much like Bachelor vibes. Speaking of Bachelor vibes, I thought it made sense for him to use the stacked bottle crates as, like, a table. And I really love that yellow color. This 
interior is extremely yellow with like pops of blue and then little accents of green here and there. It's a lot of beige and yellow, which at first I was like opposed to because I thought that it like clashed a lot or like it wasn't dynamic enough. This wallpaper is very cute, I must say. It's a little too cutesy for Fret, but you know, he's a dog. So I, you know, I did consider it for a minute. But yeah, you know, maybe he ordered a bunch of uh, sports drinks. You know, he had to get his Gatorade stock in and he just had the extra crates lying around. I was like, why not use this as a, as a side table? And I, I'm, you know, I think it's cute and it's yellow, so it works for him. Uh, he's a very yellow boy. And uh, I, you know, I had like little, this, this build was all about the details, you know, like, like the, it's all like very, everything's strewn about and it's very, you know, haphazard and, and very casual, you know. I feel like Fret would be like a really chill guy to hang out with. Like, like it's not like um, Biff's house, for example, which was definitely like a biohazard in there. Like, you know, I, his apartment is, it's messy, but I don't think that uh, it would smell particularly bad. It, it might at, at worst smell a little bit like sweaty gym clothes, but you know, it would be tolerable to hang out in here. And you know, you know, he could watch some sports, put some, throw some footy on the telly or whatever, I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, uh, I tried to get this iron hanger stand to work so badly, but it was just like too tall and like too in the way and it was just like not meshing with my vibe. So I just had to like get rid of it. It was it was ruining my vibes and Fred's vibes and we can't have that in his house. But we did keep the skateboard, we kept the shoes, we kept the socks, obviously. We love little shoes and socks. We had to have them inside, we had to have them outside, uh, we had to have them all over the place. Uh, we also added a closet. No, we put a mirror. We put a mirror, uh, slightly less chunky and bulky in it and fit the color scheme a little bit better. I, st I really do like that um, L-shaped partition area that I made with the, um, with the partition walls. I think that that was, that makes the room really more interesting than a lot of my normal like one room apartment builds turn out to be. I really wanted to use this rug so badly, but it just became like too yellow in there and I switched it out for a different rug in the end, but she'll, we'll use her eventually. I've used her in builds before. You know, I love that Argyle rug in all the colors, especially the green one. But you know, she just she was a little too much for this build, unfortunately. But props to the to the boldness of the yellow. I, I I you know she 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 was doing a lot, and we had to tone her down a little bit. But I do respect her. Uh, I think that honestly, my favorite area in this house ends up being the living room area. I just really love the clutter over there. Like I love the the bag of chips, another Natalie staple. Uh, I love the pile of books and the little sports equipment on the ground with the with the baseball glove and the bat. It was just so cute, and I just love the simplicity of it. Like how everything's sort of just like thrown around. Like it really feels like he lives here. Like if a dog could like walk around and like be like a guy, I feel like this is the house that that dog would live in. Okay, we replaced the 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 coat rack with a plant. That's that's so correct of me. As always, besties, I'm right. Um, I love this office chair. I should use this in my bedroom. I should do my bedroom. That will help me get out of my little rut if I do my bed, maybe, I don't know. Don't, don't, don't think that anything in particular is gonna happen, besties. Don't, don't, don't expect any particular build on Saturday because I'm a busy bee this week, like I said earlier. You know what I have to work on this week, besties? I have to get some serious groundwork done in The Sims 4, building houses and making Sims. For those of you who aren't in the Sims community, uh, uh, there was a big update to the game this past week where they added story progression where the other households in the neighborhood that you're playing in would live out lives and you would get word of like what they're up to and like little pops up pop-ups like so-and-so had a baby, so-and-so moved to a different neighborhood and all that stuff. Uh, so that's a really big deal for the game. So I really wanna get the ground running on that. And I'm also editing the previous sims gameplay into videos for the channel uh you know like i said on my grind besties even though i'm a busy bee that's two things to to take away from this video i'm on my grind i'm a busy bee and a third thing uh is that i can't pick a wallpaper to save my life look how yellow this is like what was i thinking what was i thinking what was going through my mind same with the rugs i reached for the argyle as always besties and that um i ended up going with this polka dot which i think is so cute i love like the double polka dot that i ended up going with in the end that and 
the skateboard that I put on the wall. I think it's very adorable. They're just like the plain brown skateboard. And then we have the yellow one on the floor, super yellow, like I said, with the with the crate and the, the lighting in this house though, because of the time of day that I set it to be to get the rainbows was so bizarre. Like, I don't know, like I just couldn't get it to look right. And maybe that's why I struggle with the wallpaper the way that I did, because it was just so, much you know we ended up going with the field sounds i don't actually know what that sounds like uh, off the top of my head and for some reason my in-game audio was not coming through obs which was very rude uh but you just imagine in your mind besties what it sounds like uh and i gave, I gave him a little game console i don't know if he's a gamer or not because he's kind of like an outdoorsy type of guy but you know you never know it's a switch light so you know it's portable he's taking it places taking it to the to the dugout besties obviously oh and of course there we all have our our harv's island reds raffle items as always but oh my gosh wait we're almost at the end of the build what was the last thing that i did oh yeah i went outside uh to talk to him and changed the weather back to that gorgeous gorgeous rainbow oh yeah and i didn't know what to name the build there's another thing you guys can let me know besties what should i call this build because it's certainly not a dugout unless it is but you know let me know anyways thank you all so much for watching uh this is the final build for fret I think it turned out super cute, but of course I'm a little biased, but if you liked it, make sure to leave a like on this video to let me know. If you want to see more videos like this, I post twice a week on Wednesdays and Saturdays, and I also stream once a week here on YouTube. Uh, so hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell to be notified every time that I post. You can join my Discord server if you're 16 or older, link in the description. And oh yeah, follow me on Instagram. Those are all the things, right? I got them all. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, thanks again for watching and I'll see you on Saturday. Bye. <laughs>